The night against Brown, we got off to a really good start, uh, moved the ball, you know, got made some really good offensive plays. Our defense was good. Um, their pressure bothered Joe more than it should. It's his first game where he missed some outside open shots that he makes, and he, he didn't react well on the, uh, with, with his ball handling, made some bad turnovers. And Cy came in and really struggled with the traps. Didn't seem like he knew where the ball has to go. And uh, we couldn't play these guys on the bench. Frank got the ball twice in and around the basket, and a 6'4 guy just took it away from him twice. He's 6'9", 230 pounds. I mean, he can't let that happen. The end of the half, we're playing really pretty good defense, and the first one, 15 is a great shooter. Bruce is a great shooter. He's one of the best shooters I've seen coming in here. He can really shoot. We had a timeout. We said to Frank, you know, it's going to come to the corner. That's your spot, and he never moved. And then I put Jesse in, and same corner, same shot, and they had two six points. And then they got the ball on the baseline, threw it out to Cy, and they made a four-point play. You know, 10 points in about a minute, and the whole game changed. Now it's, you know, now it's anything can happen. Second half, we start out better, you know, offensively. We got the ball to Jimmy, and he either scored or they double teamed, and he got it to Cole, and Cole's starting to really shoot the ball. He's getting good looks. I thought our offense was the best there. Buddy made a good pass to uh, Jesse. Um, you know, we got a couple uh, open looks for Jesse. Jimmy got to the basket. You know, our defense was pretty good, but in the second half, but we uh, we got a, got away from it a little bit and let 15 get a couple looks. He's really good. 21's really good shooter. They have two really good shooters. They're hard to play. They trap. They pressure you. You know, they do a really good job down there. He's a you know, tremendous coach. I've watched him coach many, 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 many games. Jimmy learned a lot down there. I'm glad we had him on our side today. Uh, I thought he was really good uh, on both ends of the court. And, uh, you know, but the bottom line, you know, we have to play better coming off the bench. We've got to get something there. And we're not getting it. We need to get something there for sure. All right, we'll go to our first question. We'll go to Donna DeToda. Okay, I did not have my hand raised, but I will ask something anyway. Um, Jim, I'm, I'm curious about the way you guys are defending the three-point line. Would you prefer them to not take quite as many? Are you, are you happy with the way you're covering it, it out there? Well, people are going to take shots. You can't stop them. There's nothing you can do to stop them. They didn't have an inside threat, so when, when they threw it inside, they were going to pass it back out. So I think once or twice, maybe the whole game, they tried to actually score in there. So they're going to take it in there and throw it back out. And we, we adjusted pretty well. We did a pretty good job in the second half of finding the shooters, covering the shooters, and uh, we forced them into some turnovers. Uh, you know, we had about six unforced errors turnover-wise that we can't have. But, um, no, they're going to take threes. You know, we have to contest them as much as we can. But uh, certain teams, that's what the, the way they're going to play. They're, other teams won't do that. It really depends on the team. And, you know, some teams will try to score inside and we'll have to adjust to that. And uh, other teams are going to take a lot of threes. And, you know, we have to defend them, get them off balance a little bit. Um, we did a pretty good job except for 15 and 21. You know, we knew 21 was going to make shots. He made four and uh, 15 made six. Uh, we just didn't do a good job on them. So that's the only way you can describe it. And uh, offensively we were good, especially in the second half, I thought, uh, getting the ball to the right people. Um, I thought, you know, again, Cole got some really good looks, and uh, he made some really good moves to the basket. Uh, again, you know, this is Joe's really – his first game, he's just been out of, out of it a little bit, and, uh, you know, that's going to happen. I told him after the game, that's going to happen, and, you know, we just – the other guys have to pick it up. Well, let me look another 
guy here. Let me ask you about Cole. Do you feel like he's finally getting a little bit more comfortable in what he's trying to do? Yeah, I think so. We're looking for him better. When they're doubling, we're finding him. Some teams aren't leaving him, though. You know, so when that happens, you know, the post is going to have to score in those situations. Um, we're trying to work with Benny to try to get him the ball down low, but he tries to go out to the perimeter and dribble against 6'4 guys. So he's, you know, he's got to use his size and get closer to the basket. Um, we're trying to get Jesse the ball, and we're not doing a great job of it. We've got to keep trying to do that. Um, but, you know, Buddy is making some of the hardest shots I've ever seen. He's getting hit everything. But, you know, he's making really hard shots. But we need to uh, get some help off our bench and continue to work on our, our defense. So it's, it's a little better. I think it was really pretty good in the first half until the end of the first half. Next question, we're going to go to Mario Sacco. Hi, Coach. I understand every team in the country is going through this right now, but how difficult is it to navigate a, a season with everything that's going on right now? You can't talk about it. You can't think about it. You go to practice, and you come out, and you do the very best you can. That's all you can do. But you don't Next think question. about it, and you don't talk to them about it. They have to come and play. Next question, we'll go to Jonathan Singh. Yeah, if I could just follow up with that, with the uh, Georgia Tech game being postponed, how important is, was it for you guys to, you know, pick this game back up and get to get this game under your belt and obviously the victory? Well, it was very important to get games this week. You know, I, I wish we didn't have to be in a situation where we had to play two this week, getting in the league. You know, I'd rather just play two league games, but we couldn't do that. We needed the Brown game. The only time we were going to get the Cornell game in was Wednesday because they had a cancellation. So we have to save any open dates we have during the year if we get games changed. I think the, the biggest thing coaches and, and teams and schools are going to have to do is you're going to, you might have to play back-to-back -back games. You know, we do it in tournaments in the beginning of the year. You know, you might, you might have to do it. You know, where you play Saturday, both teams play Saturday, and you play Sunday, Sunday night. Maybe you play Saturday afternoon, you play Sunday night. Or at, or maybe, if it's possible, on Monday. Even if you got a game Wednesday and Saturday. We're going to have to, especially if there's a lot of cancellations, you're going to have to do some, you know, Pete really worked hard this week, got got Brown in here. Brown's a really good, solid team. It was a, you know, we went from playing a 300 level team to play in a 130 level team. So that was good for us. I like Cornell's team. I think they're really, they're pretty tough to play against. They come at you with 11 guys and uh, they can really, they got a couple guys that can really shoot. We guarded them pretty good on the three point line and they still made 15. So, you know, they're, they can shoot it. Jim, at the end of the first half, when Jimmy left the game um, after the rebound, it looked like was that a shoulder issue? I guess kind of what what happened next. Yeah, he heard it. He's he's he was fine. He came back and played. He was fine. Next question. We'll go to Mike Curtis. Hey, Jim. Speaking of Jimmy, um, he scored you guys' first basket in ten of twelve <laughs> games. Um, is there some type of play design for him to get the ball? Well, a couple times there has been plays, but a couple times it just ended up in his hands and he made a shot. There's been no um, plan to do that. You know, if you, like tonight we, we know that they, th they know he goes right, so we wanted to get him the ball and let him see if he go left. And he got there, he had to pull up, but he still got a good position uh, where he can make that floater. But no, there's not really a plan. It just, it's worked out that way. If I could have a quick follow-up. Um, mm -hmm. With him knowing this team, with him being on this team for those past three seasons, um, was there anything that he knew what to do against this team specifically? No, we didn't even talk about it. You know, we didn't talk about it. They're playing differently. They're playing faster. They're double-teaming up court. Um, so they're playing a little different. They're doubling more. Um, 
so I, mean, I think they're, they're, they're playing a little bit differently. Um, they've got two or three guys that can really shoot it, really shoot it, and they haven't had that level of shooting. When Jimmy was there, you know, he shot 29% from the three, and he was probably one of their best three-point shooters. So this is a really good shooting team. I haven't, I've seen Boothsby play a little bit. I'm surprised when he misses. He's, he's a really, really good shooter. Last two questions for Coach. Uh, we're going to go to Roshan Fernandez next. Um, Coach, you touched on the turnovers. What's the key to limiting those? Is it just mental mistakes? or? Well, they pressured and we didn't handle it very well. They pressured Joe and Cy and they just they made mistakes you can't make in college. Last question, uh, Dan Tatora, please. Coach, just to uh, not only this season but last season, the result of this team and the ability to bounce back amidst all of these COVID protocols as well as the team coming down with, with this, you know, sickness. Just what you can say about how the team has responded the last two seasons. Well, you know, last year we've talked about many times it was an incredible year to respond the way we did. Not just to win, but to just maintain, go th get through it, win the games in the end of the year. We had to uh, play really well in the end of the season and then the tournament and then the NCAA tournament, uh, the way we played was uh, it was an unbelievable year. It's difficult this year. It's difficult for every team, and you have to just go play through it. There's, everybody's in the same situation. You know, everybody's going to go through this. Uh, I thought, again, we missed a lot of time. We missed a lot of practices, a lot of days, and, uh, you know, our best players were out. So they've responded, worked their way through this, and I think have, have done an amazing job, an amazing job. And, uh, but we have to, you know, we, we, you can't worry about stuff like that. You've got to get better. We've got to play better. We're, we're playing at a, a level that's good, but we've got to play better. And uh, I think we've improved, but we're certainly uh, not there right now. Thank you.